Hello. In this short, me uh, short video, I'm going to show you how to interact in an online meeting using the Blackboard Collaborate application tool. The first thing I have to do, obviously, is to find the link, open the link, and uh, open up the, the session. Once I have the session open, I see a few things happening here. I see a video window. I see a talk button. I see a list of participants. This happens to be just me today. And a chat window. I also see a whiteboard. Now, if the instructor was sharing a screen, I might see uh, some other screen being shared, like a PowerPoint slide or perhaps a website. Okay. If I want to share my video, I click on the video window, and guess what? It shares my video. There I am, working in my home office. How do you do? All right. If I want to talk, I click the talk button. The talk button allows me to speak, and yeah, I can see this bar moving back and forth that tells me I can actually be heard by someone who might also be logged in. If I want to give up the microphone or stop talking, I just click the talk button again. The list of participants here shows me everyone who's here. Okay, when I'm finished speaking, I make sure the talk button is off. All right, my instructor might allow more than one person to speak at a time, and if we're working on it with headsets, uh, with microphones, uh, then that can work okay. Or they might just allow one person to talk at a time. I have some icons here that I can uh, use. I can uh, tell people, you know, how I feel about something. I'm laughing out loud. That was very funny. Ha ha ha. I can applaud. Uh, I can use any of these to express uh, my feelings or about something that's happening in, in the session. All right, I can use this one to, to indicate that I'm away. If I step away from the computer for a few minutes, then I'll probably want to do this so people know I'm not there, so don't expect me to respond. All right, I can also use this to raise my hand. If I raise my hand, uh, then the instructor will see that someone has a question or wants to make a point. This is especially useful if only one person is allowed to speak at a time, because then that tells someone who's actually speaking and has the microphone control to say, okay, wrap it up, let someone else talk. Okay, I can also use the, the icon on the right to indicate a yes or no response to a question that may have been asked. If a poll was asked, then I can say yes, uh, I can say no, I can clear my answer, uh, I can say no again or none, no answer, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you can use these icons to help control that. On the right here, I have a whiteboard. In this whiteboard, we can type things in, we can draw pictures, we can take pictures with our webcams and post them. We can do lots of different things with that. Basically, you just pick from the tools here. You'll see the list of tools. You select a tool. There's a tool I can use. I can choose the color I want to use. Let's say I want to write draw in red, and then I just start start drawing, and there I go. Beautiful. Now, if I draw this, or I'm the moderator, I can delete anything. I click the little selection triangle, or the selection arrow. I click on it, and I can delete it. What I find to be pretty helpful is if I allow students to type in here. So they might make a list. We're going to brainstorm. We're going to brainstorm some great ideas. All right, so I would just type in here. If I want to make it larger, I select the window, or maybe just select the text in the window. And then I can make it a larger font size so that it's actually useful. That's the basics on using the, uh, the whiteboard, uh, the icons, um, the video channel, and the talk. And one last thing I'll tell you is the chat window. This is pretty obvious. If you want to type into the chat window, let's run to daylight with this one. I just type into the bottom screen here. Um, and, and then I hit return, and it goes to everybody. If there were more people in the room, I could, I could write a private chat message by clicking on someone's name and then typing in the chat box and, send, and hitting return again. Now, that private message is private to that person and me, but also to all the moderators. The moderators see everything. They are all powerful in this application.